so do, so, so Crystal, not traditional Crystal, liberal. So Crystal, you think that majority of black men are liberal? No, I don't. I think Hispanic and black people tend to be on the more conservative side. Like whether you guys want to admit it or not, we grow up conservative. Like let's be real, homosexuality, so homosexuality not that popular in our community. Going to church is, being family oriented is, um, working hard is. Like so we tend to have more conservative views. We just don't acknowledge it as conservative views. That's no, the problem it because of the label that's put behind it. Exactly you because if you're a conservative, then you're a coon. You know, oh, you're a Uncle Tom. You're, you're trying to be white. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So whether we're yeah. acknowledging or not, we have always had more tradition. Like uh, if you ask most black people, they're not cool with this LGBT stuff that's happening in school. The kids getting indoctrinated. If you ask most people, we are. They just will say no. They think they're democratic, right. but I, I will also like to say that I feel like these terms have been changed so drastically. Because I would say maybe even five years ago, I would be considered conservative. I would be like moderate, like in the let, like the center, because it's right. like I'm not extreme on either side. But because mm -hmm. I have common sense, I'm considered white wing, white you know wing conservative. Not like mad crazy. The older black women get, we move towards the some of uh, uh, especially of after you have kids. children. Especially, older, I will say most people that have children definitely because I we all grew up Democrat, both blue, no matter yeah. who, but, you know. But I really feel like once you get older, especially after you have children, you really do start to change a lot of your perspective on right. things. I will say right. that for sure. Yeah, okay, so so so, so let me go back to let me go back to Alicia for a second. So Alicia, you said that you don't see that on the black men's side. Why do you think that that is? Um, because black women love black men so much that they will take accountability for a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm watching black women do it right now. Y'all black women, right? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to take oh, that. Apparently, I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't say that, Chris. Oh, y'all. And I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. I'm talking about the commenters hey, earlier. Even though we all know Hispanics and black people, we grow up hand in hand. But, you know, don't matter because my skin is not the spray shade. So it's fine. Even though I'm Dominican, I'm Afro-Latina. My dad is literally darker than Anton. But because I don't have the skin color, it don't matter. So Okay, so hold on. Wait, let me, we got to let her, let her get it off. Go ahead, Alicia. I'm, I'm protecting your thoughts. Go ahead. <laughs> Black man protecting a black woman, <laughs> love it. <laughs> no, I, um, it off. I want you to get. Your I don't foot. know. It's just, it's just what I've witnessed. I think that we are a little quicker. I think that black women will take accountability for what we've done to black men before we take accountability for like a lot of other stuff that we do. Like that's what I see in in my circles, and definitely since this manosphere has been created because what there's a lot woman, of what has black women to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. let her let her finish let her finish okay. i'm gonna let you go well i mean just based on hearing you right you said that we are the problem we are the reason for the culture shifting even though the opportunity or the option that the government gave us we took it right that's our fault that's on us and we should come back and apologize right so that's mm -hmm. accountability and that's on us but that's her though. Didn't apologize. Most people don't do that. Like you most didn't, uh, you, the black com, the black woman never. They have group meetings for everything. Lipstick shades, uh, uh, air, new earrings that came out. Freaking all these events that black women throw. I'm just throwing a party because we black. Let's have a black dinner. Yeah. But nobody <laughs> has like never. Nobody has never. Hey, but you don't think up. that black women to piggyback off of Alicia's point. <laughs> You don't think that black women love black men so much that no, they now are feeling bothered by the I fact think that black, black women men love black men. I think black women love black men, but I think that black women need to learn accountability and they need to start shutting the hell up and letting this man lead and stop wanting to be the head in the household because every time we become the head in the household, the home falls apart and then she go and she blame the man. I is, think is black possible? women. Sorry, I think black women love black men when it's convenient for them. That's true too. Say that again, Q. Say that again. I think black women mm -hmm. love black men when it's convenient for them. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Money wise, they're not going to follow his lead, but pay some bills. 
I right. think that's today what black women though. I think if we go yeah. back into our mother ages, um, I think um even though I think my our mother probably that was the generation yeah. that might have messed up the black community. But I think like it's not uh, this generation of woman is in love with the money, what black men can do. The the generation before us and before that isn't like that. They actually really love black men. They don't care if you don't have anything. They'll take you. But that's why they needed the the government assistance because obviously the man wasn't making the ends meet. But the man wasn't there. The The man's not there. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 We got time. We got time. I want to hear what you're making. Mm-hmm. They I weren't making. I'm not saying they weren't working. I'm saying they wasn't making enough. Now I'll, I never, I'm, I don't know any black women that never had to work. I know white women that didn't, but I don't know any black women that didn't have to work. My grandma always worked, and she had me in at work, but the ends just wasn't meeting, so she had to move to the hood, and she ended up buying her a house and getting out of it. But I don't think women put their men out just because the government was offering them a check. I think they were left with no other option. And there is the men that left to go get the milk and the pack of cigarettes that never came back. Abandonment oh, was a big issue then. So women didn't really have another option. In order to feed those kids, they had to do what they had to do. And they had huge families. If you have 10 kids, you you probably won't be able to make the ends meet. You probably it was always a way. Let me I tell got, you something, I, right? That's true. But let me tell you something. I know for a fact what was, from being small, do at the time. I don't I think know. they kicked their men out simply because a lot of them did. Them. A lot of them did. A lot of them just wanted the money. And a and lot of them hid their men and pretended he wasn't in that house. My mother was one of them. Get those benefits. My mother yes, was exactly <laughs> proving the point the man should not be there in order to get government assistance. You're okay. basically it's saying it right then and there. Exactly. So they had to kick the man out in order to get no, those they, resources. I'm not saying men women just leave for money, but I'm just saying their man out. So a, it's only one neighborhood. It was only one government housing. But the point, I get what you're saying. You're missing the point. The point is the initiative is to have there's no man in the house. Even if you lie about it, the initiative is there's no man in the house. Whether you lie to the government or not. Wow. Obviously, but that's the point. That's the point I'm making that if there's two people in the household, they won't give you assistance. There has to be one parent. That's the initiative. No, it doesn't. And, and that's not even true nowadays. As long as you're it income, is true nowadays. Long, I know no, people that are still scamming Section 8 right now. I know I people that are still on Section 8 on. now that are still lying no, about their, their, their baby daddy high. not being there. The incentive was to not have the man in the house high. because if there's a man in the house leading, they're not going to rely on government assistance. It matters if a man is leading the household. There should be no reason why a woman is leading the household. With a man is out the of the man household, it, it creates the, the government to be able to come in and incentivize single motherhood. Yes. Oh, but black women didn't, black women didn't create that. They were abandoned by their husbands. They were yeah, getting, no, you're, you're right. Well, black women did it. It was LBJ so that started reason. the initiative, and, yeah. and and that's exactly what happened. That's it was what happened. Reasons why men were leaving the household. And again, I've grew up in it. Generations of poverty, not poverty, but just like not like high low class, high poor, high poor, like high, working class. That's I got a question. Oh, if, if that's so, true, so, I just have a question. If that is account. true, since since um government assistance has uh, has gone on, we have spent more money gov- on governmental assistance to these families. So if that is true, why isn't there any change? Why is it getting Most worse? Generations because the economy is four generations. It's no, not, I'm not talking. Women. I'm talking about single households in the black community. It has jumped from 25 percent mm-hmm. to 75 percent. And do you, if, and if that is the case, if we're making more money, if we're providing more services to mm-hmm. people, why is it getting worse? Because, because people not, have more kids than they can afford. That's one. For two, mm-hmm. because they're getting incentivized to have the children. The that's more children the point. I have, that's the point. That's the point. In my mom's era in the 70s, yes, they were incentivized. The point is to keep you on government assistance. Child. The point is to make you need government assistance. And there's some people who, even if, they want, even if they want to get off, they can't. It ain't no job out here. No, no you can. You can. can. You can. That is an insult. No, that is an insult. You can. You can work with your house. That is an insult. You can. You can. Listen, listen, you can. I gotta understand. Everybody needs to read this. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Is that is that by Thomas Soul? Yes. Read that book. Read that book. Read that book. We gotta understand that. 
when we all talk, I, I want spirited conversation. This is beautiful. But nobody can hear us if we all talking at the same time. All right, then we then it's mute. So we gotta we gotta give grace and and then give grace back once the other person starts responding. Go ahead. Can I just say one thing? You can't to say you could that's everybody's situation, but to say that all women that got on assistance kicked their man out. Some of the men was never there to begin with. Some of them were killed in the streets. Some of them were locked up, and some of them were just on the corner drinking and and smoking. Yeah. So, I say so are you supposed to put are you supposed to go into the doghouse because you waiting on a man to come and do right and do what he's supposed to do? No, you're going to do what you need to do until you can get into a better situation. I don't think that just doing that sweep of saying, oh, y'all owe black men an apology. I don't know nobody an apology because I didn't kick nobody out of my house and I didn't choose welfare over a man. You have so to let me ask you, let me ask you a question, Gypsy. Let me ask you a question, Gypsy. Um, do you think that women should be responsible for the man that they procreate with them? I, yes, and I think it's, yeah, I do think that. So, but also, right, so you, never know a per, you don't know a person until you know them. You can okay, have so a phone me, You don't know them, don't have a baby with them. Hello. So, that's, so that's I don't know, let me, let me revise it, let me revise it, let me revise it. Do you think that most women choose right when they decide that they want to, who they want to have children with? I think... I think it depends on the person. I think it, there's a lot of manipulative men. There's oh, a lot of, I'm going to just say people. There's a lot of manipulative people that you don't really know until you get in too deep with them. Everybody done fell out with a friend that they thought they they knew everything about them until mad they came and they switched up on you. So you, you don't have a baby with a friend. Right? With you right? you have a child with you are supposed to be married. friends with the person. Yeah, on, I'm just gonna yeah you question. should be friends, but you shouldn't be having a baby with just anybody. And again, you it's people that get married. Husband. It's people that get married. It's not just having a baby with no rando. You could get married and there's a lot of single married women who are taking care of their kids by that's such a false narrative i hate when people say that because that's just like that's so ridiculous i'm a hairstylist right? hair so my clients come sit in the chair and their kids got to come with them and they and the daddy don't don't even think let me give her some time to herself let her unwind get her hair done they, oh, my I, husband I, does I, it for I me see, so i can't speak to that my husband's involved i can't speak to that Maybe those men are feminine and they just picked a man who just wasn't able to stand up. And when the heat got hot, he dipped out. Is that Molly? I'm sorry. Yeah. I've been so hyped to see her. She's one of my favorites. I'm sorry. I'm a fan girl. I love me some Molly. Oh, okay. <laughs> can everybody hear me? I don't know if y'all can hear you. Yes. Okay. I heard y'all cooking. I'm going to finish letting y'all cook. Hi, Anton. Hi, Q. Hi, Ava. Hi, everybody. Rose. Gypsy, I just think that's just such a cop out. What? What is that, it? oh, you can be a single married woman. There are women who are doing- They're copping out. They, they, they don't believe what they're, they're saying. saying. That's a cop out. They don't even believe what they're saying. Because, it, because the women who say, oh, I'm a single, what do they say? I'm a single married mother, whatever. No, you're not. No, you're not. And that's an, ins that's an insult to the women who are actually single mothers. Because in reality, you want to go get your hair done, you're going to go get your hair done with your child. That doesn't mean you're a single mother. There's real, that's so like frivolous. There's things that single mothers actually do that's way more um, sh stressful than, oh, I can't go get my hair done uh, because my, my husband doesn't want to watch the child. And I bet they never bring up why their husband can't watch the child. They bring their- I know, I get my hair done and my husband doesn't know- There's a lot of salons that say no children. And it's because- predominantly women have to bring their children with them. This is just a small example that I'm saying. Women are yeah. meant to be caretakers. Like, I don't understand this. Oh, you can't, you have to bring your child. Yeah, you are, you're the yeah, mother. And if bring your child with you. Bring your child, then, what's, then what do you do? They don't got parents. Like, they don't have support systems. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, and like, it's I'm sorry, you have to bring your, your child. Your it's your the everybody like, else in their family. Well, that's the Most case women are extremely supportive, too. Like, you see a crying baby, saying, everyone's I'm just like, oh, it's when it okay, it's fine. Their man, their man isn't always available. Their that's man their is fault. fine. But they, that's but their fault. fault. Like, I'm not going to be able to take out. Getting your hair done is not a necessity. Taking care of your child is. But is the man working? Like, Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're off. But the man don't take their kid to the bar. They don't take their daughter with them to the barbershop. They might take their son because he's getting a haircut too. But 
You don't wait, see so you said you 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 just said something. Wait, wait, you just said something. The son, they're taking their son to the barbershop to get, to get their hair cut, but not just because they have to take him. I, that's why I said they wouldn't be taking all their kids. They'd be taking a kid that is getting a service with them. When the women come to the salon, they bring their sons and their daughters because they don't, the man isn't doing it. Do they and understand I'm every man? I'm just saying there is a lot of women who are married. They depend on their support system, but that does not include the husband. The, the husband feel like I go to work and I pay the bills. You take care of the kids. And there's a lot of that's you know, right. you know, right. if they go to, if they go to work, that a woman that's, that's called so tradition. Good. 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 If, if, if that if that man is working. Forty plus hours a week providing. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's hold on, 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 hold on. Can we go back to the accountability? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm so stuck on that. Let me, let me take, let me ask the question. We was just avoiding it the whole time. Before my, before Molly started, before I asked Molly this question, Gypsy, let me ask you a question. What is the expectations of a man for you? To provide and protect. And what does that look like? Break it down for me. My ideal is I'm a, a beat me staying at home. I have a career that is very a lot more flexible than working just straight up in the office 40 hours. I can work from home when I need to. Gotcha. But I like it, if people are doing 100 and zero, where the woman just stay home, keep the home up, run the errands, take care of the kids, and the man works, that's cool. If you're doing 50 50, where y'all both are splitting the bills and y'all both are splitting the house chores and y'all both are splitting the child rendering, then that's cool too. But a lot of times it's 50-50, but the woman is doing the, the rendering, the housework and all of the, like the domestic stuff and she's working 40 hours too. So just because the man has a job doesn't mean that he shouldn't have to pitch in and actually be hands-on with his children. Well, let me, so, so let me ask this question then. Um, what are your expectations? You That's my expectations. I, me, ideally, I would want to be a stay-at-home mother and my husband work. Okay, got you. All right. So you would want to be a stay-at-home mother and the husband work. Okay. In that situation, do you give up agency? Like, do you get to, are you in a space to where you kind of relinquish um, opinion, you kind of just fall up under his covering. You you let him lead and kind of, you know what I'm saying, determine what the course of action is, what the what the family is going to be, or do you still want to have a lot of say so and what happens inside of the household? No, I, I think if he wants my opinion on something that's cool, I'm a very submissive woman. Right now I'm single, so I'm dominating, but in a relationship, I'm very submissive. Even when I, me and my son's dad didn't work out, my whole pregnancy, I was home. Because gotcha. I could run my business from my house. And when I had my son and I went into the salon, I was only there part time. While my son was at daycare, I was at work. When he was out of school, we were at home. And that mm -hmm. was because I set up my life to, I had a cash car. I had a oh, like $800 a month rent. So when I go into the salon, all I have to worry about is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which are the money making days. And the rest of the time I'm off. And when so, my son needed to so come. Let me ask you a question. And you don't have to answer the question if you don't want to. It's completely up to you. Why is it not feel like that? Can you repeat your question? Why is it not still like that? Like, what changed? For me? Yes, ma'am. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. No, I can answer, like, why am I not work? Why am I not staying home? Like, what's, what do why, you Why is your son father not still in your life? Well, I live in a different state now. I live in Minnesota. He still lives in North Carolina. But the truth of the matter is we've been dating for a couple of months. I got pregnant and he actually was married the whole time.